So I recently had a doctor's appointment with my transplant team and I told my doctor that they failed us. And so in today's video, I'm going to be telling you why I explained to them that they failed us as transplant recipients. So if you guys know anyone that could benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment to hit subscribe to be notified when I post my next kidney video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. In order to get a kidney transplant, you have to go through some extensive extensive, and I mean extensive, testing, psychology, financial, like the whole shebang. They put so much effort in getting you prepped for the transplant, but once you get the transplant, it's like you're on your own. Right? No one really figures out where you are mentally, what, what's going on in your life, how are you coping. None of that seems to really matter. So I told my doctor in my visit, because we just have that type of relationship, you guys already know I'm that type of person where I just like to have that kind of dialogue. And we were just chatting it up and I told her, I was like, you know, I just feel like you guys failed us as transplant recipients. And uh, surprisingly, she agreed with me. And the reason why I told her that they failed is because I felt like no one really worries about your mental health after. I'm a big advocate in mental health matters and taking care of yourself and all of that situation, but there's a lot that goes through getting a kidney transplant, right? And you people on the outside looking in think, you know what, you got a kidney transplant, your life is great, what are you worried about, what are you complaining about? But there's so much that you go through emotionally, right? You're constantly worried about, oh my gosh, am I gonna go into a rejection? You got pills to take, you gotta take care of you know, your family because now you're feeling better. There's so much emotionally going on and let's not even talk about like medical bills and you know, life after transplant and just, it's, it's so much that most people don't tell you. They show you the good, which is great, right? We're alive, we're great, but they don't figure out where are you? And I personally, transparent moments, have recently had some emotional days that, you know, I felt like everything was just too much for me and just so much going on. And yes, I have my husband and family that I can talk to, but they don't really understand. All they see is, what do you complain about? You got a kidney, right? Um, but there, there's more that goes along with it. And I'm like, you know, we should be able to see, you know, a psychologist. We should be able to have someone on our team after the transplant to talk to, to vent to, to someone that we can relate to. Or even if you can't see a psychologist, but just have like groups that we can attend. Yes, we have, you know, the Facebook groups and things of that nature where you got to write out everything and it's different than having that one-on-one -on -one interaction. We had that one-on-one, -on -one, at least for me and my team, we had a one-on-one -on -one and I had to meet with um, a psychologist, right? And we had to sit down, we had to talk about what's going on, what I'm gonna be experiencing. And just like, when I tell you it was so detailed, like it's unbelievable that we don't have this after the transplant. So even my doctor, she said, you know, when I came into this field years ago, I said, I'm gonna get into the transplant. I'm like, oh, everything's gonna be great. He's like, but she's like, there's a lot of issues that people are going through after the transplant. And especially after COVID happened and the lockdowns and just everything going on. It's like, we did fail. She's like, I wish that we had more resources to give. And she said, unfortunately, because of the pandemic, you know, they don't do as many things as they may have done in the past. You know, guys, comment below. For those of you that have had your transplant for a while, did you have an outlet? Did you have a, did you get set up with the psychologist? Did you have any of those resources available to you throughout that process? And so she said, you know, I could set you up with a, psychologists through our practice but they're so backed up in book that they're probably calling people now and then just outsourcing them and then does it align with your insurance and then you got to worry about all of those things but people don't worry about like the mental health aspect they want to make sure that you know you financially got the money to get it and that you know that you're going to take care of your kidney but like what about our life after right I'm a mom I'm a wife I'm dealing with so much 
that like one day between my doctor, not my doctor, but the person who like does my script for me to get my blood work and then between Quest Diagnostics and they're not getting it and I'm having to travel so far and not even to get the proper testing that I need done and I'm already frustrated because I wasn't feeling good, right? I haven't been feeling good. I've just been emotionally up and down. I haven't really been feeling like myself. I've been feeling emotionally unstable. And yeah, maybe it was that time of the month, I don't know, you know what I mean? But I just know that I've just been feeling like a lot of weight on my shoulder, just, you know, trying to call insurances, trying to just deal with so much, but no one tells you that. So that's why I'm here to tell you guys. You guys know on this channel, I try to keep it as transparent as possible and just tell you as much as I know and I learn it and I grow. Um, but I did tell them that they failed. And I truly in my heart feel that way. And I just hope that in the future that, you know, we will have some outlets where we're able to discuss how we feel and what we're going through in our lives and have that support. Now, yeah, they may give you like maybe little resources, like guides and stuff. But like we, I, I'm the type of person, I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of person that I need to speak to somebody. I need to let this shit off my chest. Um, but somebody that's going to be, you know, not like judge, not judging you, not someone that, you know, I just want somebody on the outside that I can speak to that doesn't know my situation, that can just give me the proper advice that I personally need for this stage in my life. Um, so yeah, that's what I tell my doctors, guys. I don't know if I was too bold, um, but that's just how I was feeling. She caught me in a day that I just just wasn't feeling myself. I've just been feeling a little bit unmotivated. Um, and you guys, I am not that type of person. I am on the go, on the go, ready to roll. And I just noticed that those little changes started happening and like I'm emotional. I'm just, I wasn't feeling as motivated as I usually am. And it's just something was off. And I realized like, I don't really have the outlet from my transplant team. I don't really have that help that I needed and maybe I can make a change I don't know maybe I can suggest things or maybe these videos will blow up and they'll see some you know see some of these and say you know what let's go back to the team let's go back to the hospital and find some resources and you know as the world is going crazy in front of us and we probably are approaching recession and all this different stuff is going on I'm not sure if they're going to have the funds or the resources but hey, just like everybody else, they have the funds and resources for everything else, right? But we can find that. We need to, as a community, to speak up and let them know that we need help just like we did before. We need help after as well. We need that support and guidance. Um, and how to navigate through this life after the transplant. Like, There's just so many different things and I'm just hoping that I personally can make an impact and I told my doctor, hopefully she can go back to her team and her higher ups and start to implement these changes. But I'm going to continue to be an advocate for chronic illness patients, especially for my kidney, you know, people that are having dealing with kidney failure or having, you know, the transplants and just all of it. I'm going to continue to be an advocate and I want you guys to join me as well too, because the more people that speak up, the more people that comment on this video and the more people that just express their feelings, I can't be the only one in the world that is going through this. But that's where change happens. We have to voice, we have to stand up and we have to say what we need because we can't hold everything inside because if we hold everything inside, we're no good for anyone else. We're no good for our children, our spouse, you know, your coworker. It, you're just no good. And so we need an outlet. So if you guys are hearing me loud and clear in these hospitals, these transplant centers, we need to find an outlet for transplant recipients where we can talk to somebody, we can get that guidance that we need so we can thrive in life after a kidney transplant. So again, guys, thank you guys, you know, so much for supporting all my videos. You guys, you can, you know, comment below, interact with me. You guys know I comment to everybody that messages me. Um, I'm here to serve you guys as well and just to be that outlet for you because I know what it feels like to have no one to speak to, to have no one 
understand your situation. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. I love and appreciate you guys. See you guys next time.